My name is Brian, and welcome back to Desert Theory. Well, tonight we're not at the normal shop. We're at the big shop. And that generally means we're doing some sort of fabricating on a race car. This, this shouldn't be code. This is a new building. In the emails, we have more tools here, a few more options, more welders, and so that's what we're doing again. What we're gonna try and get done tonight is get a footrest installed in this. Now, when we purchased this car- I got it, it's done. Stop the camera. <laughs> we just did some duct tape. So when we bought the car, it actually had a tube footrest in it. The problem was, is it probably wasn't made for a six foot eight and a six foot three guy. So it was way too close to the seat. It was so close and so small that our feet wouldn't fit in it. And it, my knees were up in my chest. So in order just to race, we took that out. We, we raced a couple races and now it's time to get a footrest back in there. So we're gonna try and work on that tonight. We'll see what we come up with. Okay, we can't get too fancy with this footrest. Our, the one in the Baja Bug was pretty slick, but the problem is it took up some space. We had a lot more room in that Baja Bug and this car being mid-engine, everything is just shoved so far forward that we don't have a lot of room. So we have to keep it super skinny, super up against the firewall to allow us to get enough room to get our legs in there. So instead of trying to take a piece of metal and manipulate it in here and burn in a bunch of chunks of aluminum up actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this piece of cardboard. It's gonna be our, our guide to what we're gonna build later. So we can cut this with a knife, get everything just like we like it, get the bends where we need them, the brakes where we need them, the notches for the tubing where we need them, and then we'll make the original piece or the, uh, the final piece out of aluminum. So we'll notch it for that too. Well, it probably won't be this tall, but I'm just kind of starting. This is a piece of cardboard that was just sitting on the ground. So we're just kind of starting with what we got here. Okay, so this shop is neat. Like I said, there's a lot of tools that we get to use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get close with that cardboard, just cutting it with a knife. Then we're gonna draw it up. After it's drawn, we're gonna cut it in the CO2 laser. So after we get it done in the laser, we'll get everything done, the drawing will be perfect, and then we're gonna take it to our CNC plasma cutter. This is where the final, when we're ready to go, it's gonna be cut out of here. And it should be perfect because we've tested it with a bunch of pieces of cardboard and changed all the drawing on cardboard. So it just saves a lot of money. Now we did this to all of the parts on the five car, made almost everything out of cardboard first. So it just saves so much money and really gets you accurate drawings. So Kelly's having me grab this corner panel. And the reason why is because this is right up against that tubing. So we actually have to account for this when we're building our step. It'll be kind of like coming around here somewhere. So I just kind of wanted to hold that in place. So I jumped in the car here and as you can tell, this is the most comfortable spot for me right there. If I could put my, like the heel of my boot on that bar would be great. Unfortunately, I think I would also be collecting the A-arm with my front toes. So that's gonna have to not work. But that's why we're gonna use this tube right here. So not, not a lot of room for us. Normal size guys in a mid, mid engine Jimco. I said normal size guys, Kelly. Okay. Everybody in my family is normal. Like my 15 year old's only six foot eight, so. Seems, <laughs> seems normal. Well, that's kind of what I had in mind for a quick, put, put your foot up against here, just hold it. And I obviously will be racing in racing shoes and not, not these boots. huge boots. Okay, so this is a pretty cool side of the shop. I'm not sure how much we're gonna use it in this video, but we have the CNC machining centers, the knee mills, CNC lathe, all kinds of cool parts, pieces. Oh, what's that? So this is a really fun area where there's a lot of cool tools made. Uh, Kelly and Jerry do some pretty amazing things here and Wes and uh, we kind of get to be, we get to use some stuff and, uh, and it's pretty cool that we get to come here and Jerry lets us do it. So thank you for that, Jerry. It's, uh, 
It's really fun and it makes some, uh, some of the things we do on the race car affordable. We wouldn't be able to do it without this. Well, we saved our, our arms and, and these front arms. If you guys go back a few videos, a lot of videos, we, uh, we did some stuff with the front arms that would have been very expensive butts for us to have someone. Well, we would have had to have new arms rebuilt. So that was pretty cool, but uh, this, is, this is awesome, but we better get to work. So I truly don't understand why every shop we work in, even the new big ones, have to have something that you have to be so careful not to hit your head on. Like, how, do this, how is this a door? Where, where does this pass code? This, this shouldn't be code. This is a new building. They are a freak of nature. New 20 years ago. Was it really 20? Yeah. Well, it's 20 years old, but it still looks new. And <laughs> I was here when it was built, so I thought it wasn't as old as it is. <laughs> All right, Kelly's doing some work in SolidWorks. SolidWorks is just a 3D modeling program that Kelly would draw all of his stuff in uh, any part where he's going to go machine. Uh, anything you'd like to tell us about SolidWorks, Kelly? <laughs> um, well, we use it every day to do 3D models for production parts, um, prototype parts. So we, you can basically draw whatever you can think up. You can draw it and then you can import it into um, for sheet metal cutting. You can put it a late send it to a laser or you can send it, you can program it for CNC machining. So you can do that within SolidWorks. So it's a pretty powerful program and um, pretty much necessity to do any kind of manufacturing these days. Yeah, so SolidWorks is kind of cool because you can just start drawing whatever you want. You can draw, you can just take this pencil and just drag lines, whatever shape, and then start dimensioning it and creating like different features so like if you wanted this to be a two inch radius you could like add radiuses you know um or so like for instance this guy we'll get rid of this we're actually drawing this but you just take your dimension tool and you just tell it like right now it's at 12 inches so you kind of measure okay we need that to be let's just say brian what do you think 15 that's easy 15 enter so then that kind of lets this leg this this is my bend line here so i'm gonna have two and a half inches we might change that you can just select it click two inch maybe if you want like a two inch flange um, at the bottom and then you just kind of it's pretty simple you just kind of go up figure out how long you want this to be go up here say six inches so you just take your tape measure measure it click it it's, right now it's at eight we'll just call it six enter and you just kind of work your way around it and we can put holes in there um whatever we need to it's pretty simple and then you can take this and send it right to the laser and cut it so perfect pretty simple it's All in right. the laser in the cardboard's in he's going to turn on the fan that's going to suck this cardboard down droop to that that bottom that little honeycomb cutting table so you can just feel our air is just kind of pulling down right there. Let's touch the Z off. Okay. So you can see on this corner piece right here how it's cut out. We, we radius this corner just to make it look nice and then cut out that to where when it bends and bends, it's gonna to come together and just be able to be welded. So pretty cool little piece so far, if it works. We'll see. Okay, so what Kelly's gonna do right now is just um, mark his lines and then he's gonna just cut it a little bit with the razor to kind of simulate a break where we're gonna be bending. I'll just cut kind of the back side of the cardboard here. Okay, so theoretically that should be able to go together. We'll just do a little TIG weld on there. Okay. And so lay it in there and see how it looks. We'll lay it in there and see how it looks. I see we missed our mark on this, but that's that's where we get it on the second try. That's okay. Well that tube 
That's a lot more out here than I thought, Brian. Those dimple die holes aren't gonna work. Dude, what do you think, like an inch off of this? Side? Yeah. Because we don't want to get too close to the steering either. No. Nope. Although I really like that. So that looked really good, but it was just a little bit too big. So now what Kel's doing is this just going to bring everything down a couple See, inches. It's fat, it's fat there for sure. So, yeah. Okay, so we're just starting to cut cardboard cutout oh. number two. Hold on. We got to make these. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We got to make these hair. Okay, so cardboard cutout number two is out of the laser. We're going to see how this does. Again, we'll have to do the straight edges. Simulate the bend. Simulate the bend. Oh, snap. What do you think, right? It looks real nice. That's better. Yeah, it looks like it fits. That's nice, huh? And that top edge is I mean, this thing could go in. over yeah. here a little bit. Yep. Yeah. That gives us two nice places to put bolts and tabs on. Okay, so this one's going to be pretty lucky if we could do it. But what we're going to do is just notch that hole out around that and kind of see where it hits. We're either going to use it as a hole for our actual step or just knock out a hole around it. So we'll see if we get lucky. I'm just going to try and mark it. So it doesn't appear to me like it's gonna mark up or line up in a spot where we can use it. So we will just have to cut a hole out for it. Okay, third and final one now. It's not really final, but it could be. So should there, be. It should be, could be. Um, there's no pressure, but uh, it's, it's cheap. This, this is used cardboard. This, so. is, this is why we do this. It's this costs super us a little easy, bit of time. But you end up with exactly what you want. And like Brian found that hole, I mean, I didn't even think about that, but that bolt, right, Brian? That bolt has to go through this plate. Yep. So. It looks clean, but I don't like it because your foot's going to hit it. Yeah. And that would be super And I think if we just, just brought that over to the edge of that hole is the center of that bolt. We just move that hole one hole over, you know? Yep. To like right there. It still looks really good. It does. And it gets it plenty of room. Yeah. Okay, there we go. What do you think? Yes. If I moved it over that hole, that basically five eighths of an inch. Yep. I think we have a part. Dude, that looks good, Reed. It does. With that little pocketed out, it's gonna look sharp, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I love building cool stuff for our race car. Okay, so the CNC plasma cutter hasn't been used in a while, so it doesn't have any water in the table. So this is just a plastic tray. It's to keep the smoke, fire everything down. You just drop these parts. When they drop out, they fall into this water. So we gotta go fill that up. So we got water underneath the table. We have our piece of aluminum on here. Kelly right now is running this machine to make sure it's centered and it's not gonna go off the table while we're cutting our part. So we have some weight on there. We're also checking that the machine's not gonna hit the weights. Okay, I'm coming straight to the other way. That's the furthest corner, so that's good. And then straight back. We're still on. That's good. Yep. Ooh, it's close. I think it's okay, Brian. Okay. Run it out here and see what you think. So if you look, our plasma cutter, it's hard to kind of see in there. You might be able to see right there. It's just really close to the edge of our material. So now the same uh, program that Kelly did in SolidWorks that works on the laser. All he does is bring it over to this Windows 95. You can see. Oh yeah, some people will probably remember this. So he can put it right onto here. So Kelly, is working on feeds and speeds, material he's cutting. Um, it does a little touch off thing to get the plasma cutter at the right side or right height for the material.
little bit. All right, so right now Kelly's, he's moving this wheel right there. And what that wheel does is move this back. And you can see there's this spot here where it breaks over. As soon as Kelly moves his fingers, I'll just kind of bend it. See how when you move that, so that's gonna kind of be how much materials in the radius of the bends. All right, let's go on that line, on that line. So that lever he just did, it brought everything down tight. And now he's able to bend to 90. And Should work good. you can see right here. So we're looking for our 90. We're interfering with the tube notcher. There yeah, you go. Going to 90. Oh yeah. Does that look pretty good? It's pretty good to me. Looks good to me. There you go, right here. So see how that notch would be bad, but he can, that's why this finger's removed here, so he can get that in here and still bend it all the way to where he needs to bend it. Tight? More? More. Touch more. Yeah. Touch more. Yep. Better? Yeah. I think so. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, Kelly. That's one thing. Okay. Looking pretty sharp. I like it. Okay, so what we're doing right now is the dimple dies. And you can see this is just a flat piece of aluminum. And if you look down there, it's, it's strong, but it can be stronger, right? So these dimple dies are really going to do that. And let's just do one here, Kel. Well, and we'll reverse them. So you could do them either way. You could have a dimple and kind of press through the, you know, for a, th a strengthening, but we're gonna reverse up, reverse up, so we're gonna dimple it back towards us for grip. Is that, yes. what, you, is that what you but want? It's gonna strengthen too, yeah. and grip. It'll give us grip though. Yeah, you want, totally, yes. You want it that one? Yep, just like in our old car. Okay, all right, here we go. Really see how that, but just forming the metal like that, it makes it so much stronger. A flat piece of metal gets a lot stronger with these. See how there's kind of a, a ridge or a raised part right there? It's just smashing that on there, and this die has a spot for that metal to go when this one pushes it up. Side thing is going to keep us from uh, get interfering with the gas pedal. When you're bouncing around, sometimes you get kind of jostled. Maybe you're looking down at the GPS or you're looking at a gauge or something. And you hit a big bump and you're kind of loose and your feet are flopping around. Now you can just kind of have a nice little pocket. This is, this is good. It's really good, Brian. One of our friends we raced with in the Boar organization, he, he came across and hit something really hard. And he had his, he's a big guy, big strong guy, and he had his foot I think on the brake, right? Yeah. And he broke his foot all up. So that gives you a nice flat service to where if you do do the panic push out, you don't have a, a very small point of contact that all that weight's gonna get behind when you hit. So really makes it a lot safer for the co-driver if something bad were to happen. More comfortable when you're just driving. Kelly's working on a, a tab right now that's gonna go on the back side right here so we can bolt through there. So he's working on that, that bracket or that tab. I'm kind of finishing this up. I'm gonna put a rubber bumper on the one side because we're just gonna have it push up against the firewall there. So that's what we're doing. And now he's finishing up bracket. Oh, he's yeah. doing a little handmade one, so. Yeah, I didn't want to fire up the plasma and all that again. So I'm just whittling it out of a sheet of scrap. So. Get the big chunks off and then we'll grind it. Okay, so I got the rubber bumper put on there because we don't want to do anything with it on that side, but we don't want metal on metal and rattling. So it's just going to go up against that firewall. 
Kelly's getting that bracket for this upper left side. So we'll get those bolts in and get it set in there. And I'll go over and grab the welder so we're ready to start going on this. By hand. Yeah, so we haven't done this in a while, so it's actually kind of funny. So uh, he did a nice job on that, but now it's time to put this bracket on. Yeah. So he got that tacked on, now he's just gonna go do his final weld. That's why it's bent. See how he can run his weld down in there and it's not gonna interfere with the tab. So that's the reason why you bend the tabs is they don't, the weld doesn't stick out onto what you're trying to, to hold. Okay, let's go look at his weld. Oh yeah. Looks good, looks darn good. That's good for the old squirt gun, you know. It's what we can, we can't TIG weld that in this bay, so we'll just squirt gun that little bracket and it'll work just fine. All right, Kelly and I just got the two lower ones on. He's finishing up with the last one, and then that upper left one has the rubber bumper behind it. So, it's a finished product. We like it. Well, there we go. It's perfect. <laughs> it just looks it's perfect. Solid, man. It's really good. Really solid. Awesome. Very cool. We have that'll be a step. That'll be a lot nicer. A lot. All right, Kelly's jumping in here one last time just to see how it feels with all that everything secure. Man, it sure looks great. It did turn out really good. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. It's great. It's so much more space, so much more positive, like really nice. Brace yeah. yourself for the the ride. Guys, that wraps up tonight. Cars cleaned up, tools are put away, so we just had an absolute blast out here, Kelly and I. This is just such a neat shop that we have the opportunity to work in. So it's fun to work on this car. It was fun to take all of you along. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.